Hey, this is Sidan Kush of the Cine 6 bringing you the week 3 battle of our run of the WWA. Um, last week we didn't do so well. We lost our first match of the week, of the league. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, you know come back uh, with a win this week. Uh, however, uh, this it's not going to be an easy. Uh, because our opponent is currently undefeated, um, it is the Toronto Road, yeah, Toronto Roadrunners, and their coach Quinn. Um, Quinn is uh, another coach that's actually uh, also doing videos in his run of the WWA. So uh, I implore you to uh, check a, check him out. I will leave a description. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Uh, link to the video to his channel in the description of this video along with probably if he um, a video of his side of this battle also in the description I am I've left uh, the team builder video for for the Pokemons I bought this for this battle um, so if you want to check out what the sets of the Pokemon I brought uh, you can Pause this video, check it out, come back, watch it, or you can watch it after this battle. But um, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's check out let's check out this battle. Okay, so um, so when I saw my my opponent's team uh, of Mantine, Polytoad, the Wacky, uh, Lola Persian, Holy Heliolisk, and uh, a little Marowak, uh, I immediately notice uh, n there's no trick room at all. So obviously he, he's going for the rain strategy, which I which I was expecting. So uh, now wh whether he immediately leads with Mantine and Politoed is another thing. Um, I I don't see any reason why he wouldn't. So I'll just you know. Why not lead with uh, Drampa and Holucha? Um, have Incineroar at the back. You should be able to deal with uh, the Alola Marowak. He's no doubtly going to bring and whatever his other three, like his fourth Pokemon is, is going to be uh, Persian or Heliolisk or Thwacky. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, So in this first game, uh, he did lead with the uh, uh, Mantine and Politoed, which uh, I mean, it's what I expected. Um, and, uh, I, and I mean that having the my Drampa out immediately means that I can instantly support my um, Holucha. Uh, uh, whilst you know keeping the Swift Swim, Mantine Swift Swim like uh, disabled, uh, I immediately like decided to uh, uh, go with the Helping Hand Thunder Punch because there is actually a chance where um, no, well Lucha's attack is not high enough to guarantee a co on or Mantine, unfortunately, depending on the, the, the spread of Mantine, despite being four times effective um, and hitting on the, the the weaker defense of Mantine. So I had to go with Helping Hand. Now, uh, I think he did go with uh, uh, Alolo Marowak in order to catch uh, um, the Thunderbolt. <laughs> uh, uh, the the to to protect Mantine, but I think uh, whether he didn't notice Mole Breaker or he doesn't know Mole Breaker um, is not affected by uh, abilities. Uh, probably the, the former, he, he noticed that uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, Mole Breaker activated at the beginning of the match. So I immediately got rid of uh, Mantine without it doing anything so uh, he's a great that was, that was super 
stoked with the way that uh, uh, the match opened. Um, it, it's I couldn't ask for a better uh, result. Um, now immediately, like my attention obviously goes to I have I I, I don't see Holucha surviving throughout the match. It's just uh, I think, um, but. I, I do need to get rid of... I know he has Polito now, uh, obviously, and I have to... I, I, if I want to keep Incineroar as offensively, uh, like, to exert as much inf offensive pressure, I have to get rid of Polito. Now, whether he chooses to, to send out Polito now, uh, which he did, um, it was lucky for me. Um, however, at this point, uh, I don't know what his fourth Pokemon is, um, and I thought, well, guy, if I'm, if Holunch is not going to be around, I might, I might need um, Grandpa to um, to attack once Incineroar comes in. Um, so I decided to go with Max Airstream so I can boost Grandpa's speed. Uh, to the ve like very least, like uh, try to boost it above a uh, little Marowak. Um, despite you know um, Grandpa not being able to hit a little Marowak, but um, so I got hit by the Scold, which uh, scared me a bit because I I, I thought I could do burnt, but uh, luckily I didn't. And <laughs> lucky for me, Holuncha, uh survived that Poltergeist. So, um, I actually saw no reason to not continue helping handing with um, Drampa. Because uh, I, I knew the, the Max Airstream would um, faint uh, Politoed. So, uh, I get a second kill. Um, so, Holmich gets two from, from this game one, which is pretty, pretty nice. And, uh, but you know, immediately faints from uh, Marowak. But uh, uh, look, it almost did what it it, it did. Like, it did its job. It broke through his team um, in a great position. Um, I actually like. I, uh, I see no reason why I, I would lose game one, depending on what his last Pokemon is. Um, now, obviously. Uh, with Willaboom at the back, of you, I, I, I do have to keep in mind that Marowak is now the most uh, threatening Pokemon on his side of the field, so I do want to get rid of uh, Marowak immediately. So that that's what's going through <laughs> uh, my, my head. I just helping hand uh, Darkest Lariat onto uh, a little Marowak. I, I see no reason why I wouldn't do that. And uh, uh, let's see what Helios would do. So Helios goes for Weather Ball, which is uh, interesting. I think if he wanted to do as much damage to Incineroar, I think he would have should have gone with uh, um, Thunderbolt or whatever electric cap he has. Yeah, I mean, it's boosted by the electric terrain. Um, uh, I don't know whether he's notice the cloud nine on on Drampa, where, or doesn't know that weather ball is not water type with cloud nine in effect uh, but I decided to just go with flare bits um, it's most likely dry skin so it is probably weak to that uh, the fire attacks plus even if uh, it doesn't um, Drampa is sorry uh, I have Rillaboom at the back, which can easily dis dispatch uh, uh, heal your risk, so I just go with Flare Bits. Okos it, it's pretty simple, yep. And I take game one, which is... Which I, I'm, I'm really stoked about. Um, uh, I, I had a clear plan, it, it was executed uh, perfectly, but 
uh, my mind immediately goes into game two, um, and I know my opponent is uh, incredibly uh, uh, smart. Um, he, he's not going to lead the same Pokemon, or if he if he does, he's not going to Dynamax Mantine straight away. He's not. He might even just double out. Um, out to a different Pokemon, uh, though I, I doubt he'll do that because oh, what's the point? Um, so I, I'm I'm going through my head. What is, what could he possibly lead? Um, I, I I could think maybe like a Politoed and uh, Heliosk, or uh, a Lolan Persian and. Probably Heliosk or, or Mar a little Marowak. I mean, there's so much going through my head, and I'm thinking, okay. Well, I, I, at, at a point, I just decide, well, you know what? I'll just I'll lead the same Pokemon. I think I'm I'm pretty. Uh, I I think it covers pretty well. There's no need for me to change. I can just adapt. Uh, in the third game, I can take that risk, uh, but. I don't think really Beam at the back was going to, was doing anything for me. So, especially if I know that it's most likely he, his Mantine and Tully Toad would probably go in the back now. Uh, so, it's best if I had Jolteon. Yeah. And now my attention obviously would be if he has Bolly Toad and Mantine at the back. Uh, Marowak will be the the, the most threatening. Oh, is the Pokemon I need to target? Um, so obviously there's the um, led with Marowak and Alolan Persian, and I'm just thinking, how do I approach this? Um, obviously, Drampa's not going to do anything, so I might as well uh, help in hand. Um, uh, I don't bother to. Um, Dynamax because just in case I, I need one of my I, I think Incineroar or Jolteon is most likely should be my my Dynamax Pokemon. Um, he does max a little Marowak which I'll admit surprisingly I thought he would despite having Mantine in the back Mantine was still going to be his Dynamax Pokemon so I go with the Helping Hand with plus Brave Bird, which is the strongest move I have against Marowak, which honestly doesn't do as much um, to... Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to be honest, at this point, uh, not, not too much surprise now. Uh, I, I am finding that Holuch's attack is, can be a little bit underwhelming um, in the last few weeks. So, yeah, I'm just... This kind of furthers, uh, shows that, but obviously with uh, Marowak in front, and I what I may work on the assumption that the, his, his rain team's at the back, but because based on his other Pokemons, which is the Wacky and Heliolisk, I, I don't see him uh, really have much uh, offensive uh, pressure without those two. So, I I do decide, look, I got Dynamax and take down Marowak. Um, now, I think at this point, uh, I was letting the fact that Marowak was in, that Marowak is in front of me, that um, I'm doing uh, less with, with Grandpa. I think there's, there was no need for me to help him. Hand. Uh, I could have started just chipping down on a low Persian, um, and I think that's that's something I should have I should you know learn to to try to uh, work with try to maximize as much damage as I can in doubles. Um, but uh, I will continue to helping hand uh, with Drampa because I, I was just I, I see no point in. Uh, well, I thought I was maximizing damage by helping him, but the fact that with Marowak's pretty much weak, um, max darkness 
should uh, faint uh, Marowak. Now uh, I don't know for sure, um, but uh, I, I believe it would have. So, like guaranteeing that Ma Marowak faint and get damage on Lone Persian would have been ideal. Um, I am hit by the Max Quake, but uh, with the Intimidate um, and being um, and that my um, Snorro is fairly bulky, it's got max HP investment, I believe, yeah, so, um, it should, you know, uh, it should survive pretty easily from that max break. Uh, the max darkness obviously, uh, takes down, uh, a lot of mana life. And, now I'm just you know, anticipating whether he has that rain core at the back. Uh, now, obviously I was working on the premise that he was. He would have that rank at the back. Um, there's no reason why, he, like I said, his, his offensive pressure would be very, uh, would be dramatically uh, worsened with uh, without those two. So um, here's the drizzle. Uh, despite that, uh, uh, I do have Drampo, so the. Um, I do have Drampa in the uh, in, uh, on the field, so that the rain is not really affecting anything. Uh, I thought to max knuckle max the Persian, but um, I decided uh, I don't know if Persian would stay in, so I'll just go with um, Max Lightning. Mainly because actually uh, I'm more afraid that an Ice Beam from uh, Polytoad would. Uh, um, Faint, uh, Drampa, which you know eliminates the the the, uh, the rain, like the effect of Cloud Nine, um, and then that means his uh, his Mantide Swift Swing will activate. So uh, I do go for Max Lightning on Polytoad, which you know, but if I did on on Persian, uh, I mean, look, uh, there's no way of me knowing. I uh, it does tell me. So, um, yeah, there was no way for me knowing. Uh, at least, luckily, I didn't drain punch on or max knuckle onto um, that slot. Uh, but at this point, uh, I am still scared of the ice, be ice beam or something from, from Polytoad. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, that he will focus on Drampa and. Uh, that I would get double protect, but that didn't happen. And instead, uh, I my Snorl get the Hurricane. Um, unlucky for me, it didn't miss. It's I mean, despite I know there's rain out, but the, with the Cloud Nine effect, obviously it's still 70% accuracy. Um, and I'm actually in a bad position now. Um, uh, despite having Jolteon on the field. Uh, I was actually not anticipating for a Jolteon to be on in the same uh, on the field at the same time with Drampa, so I did opt to go with Thunder instead of Thunderbolt. So uh, I am a little bit worried that my Thunders will uh, miss. Now uh, that was a good protect from my opponent there. Anticipating the thunder, uh, the electric move, not necessarily thunder itself, but uh, he goes for perish song, which uh, you know puts me on timer. I'm forced to be more aggressive now. Uh, while he can really just stall out, there's no reason for him to, um, uh, yeah, to <laughs> uh, to to do as much damage. Uh, and you'll see he does that. He'll start protecting, and obviously, there's nothing I can do in terms. I, I have no spread move with um, Jolteon. I did think about bring Discharge with Jolteon because um, uh, I originally thought I was gonna bring Jolteon along with Grandpa as a uh, possible lead, uh, but. With the level in Marowak, I quickly abandoned that, and hence abandoned Discharge. Um, however, uh, I'm still 
you know, there, I, there could be a chance, I guess, but uh, he does, you'll see he reveals that, that he has fake out on Persian. Now, this is something I'm actually curious about. Um, uh, on reflection, uh, next turn is the last turn of the match. Because after that, Perish Song takes up into effect. And um, Polito, Jolteon, and Drampo will faint. Now, at this point, um, I actually don't know the effects or, or how, how re uh, Perish Song kind of works. Um, and I, I think later I find out that, or from this I from this match I inferred that, um, but the Pokemon would faint in order of speed. Now uh, I'm kind of curious uh, to myself now that if uh, I if I did the Hyper Voice and and Thunder on Persian instead. Would I have won? Uh, reason being is that um, Jolteon, when if, if, per if Persian fainted and uh, um, and then the Persian song ha uh, effect takes into uh, into effect, it would obviously be Jolteon. Then Politoed would faint. Leaving Drampo to be the last of the point. Um, that is, that I think, something I, I'm, I'm pretty interested in finding out. If if anyone knows, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, <laughs> because I, I have actually, I, I don't know. Um, I don't really know myself. Uh, I am willing to look it up, but uh, at the same time, <laughs> I do have. Uh, no, I'll, I'll look it up, but. I'll, uh, I'm not sure whether I will find I'll find the answer to that. Um, but yeah, I did lose game uh, game two, um, and at the same time, now I'm thinking to myself, okay, what what can I do to adapt? Because um, I don't see my opponent actually going back to um, the Polytone and Mantine lead. Uh, I think he might he might think I'm still gonna go with the whole whole Lutra lead. Um, now, so I I decided to lead with Incineroar and Drampo instead. Um, and and you know you, you bring the same four Pokemon. I think the, these four Pokemon are the best Pokemon to bring. Now, I did contemplate whether he. Would he would actually, maybe he would lead Mantine uh, Politoed, thinking that I will try to correct uh, his lead, the game to lead with Incineroar. But uh, I ultimately decide uh, I'll go with uh, Incineroar and uh, Drampa because if he does lead with his rain, if he does have his rain le uh, lead, um, I think uh, with the Cloud Nine, I think. Uh, Incineroar should uh, survive the whole um, uh, uh, Scold and uh, Max Geyser from um, uh, Mantine and I could either Max Thunder or Max Darkness into Politoed the po Politoed slot anticipating he might go for Marowak but he led the exact same Pokemons. Um, I'm thinking, and now I'm thinking also, I can't let Persian um, be at full health. Um, I need to start chipping away at Persian. So I decided not to go with Helping Hand and just, you know, lead with a Hyper Voice and uh, Dark Slayer. Now, um, for, um, unfortunately, I think now uh, my my opponent's starting to see. Drampa's effect in, on the match, and he instantly attacks Drampa. Um, and luckily, he, he resists the fire attack, uh, but unfortunately, Incineroar doesn't uh, faint Marowak. And obviously, Drampa can't do any damage. Well, I mean, I could have heat waved, which is something I probably could have, should have considered, uh, but 
I thought I'll just do as much damage to Persian. I uh, wasn't. Uh, I thought Darkest Lariat would uh, faint um, uh, Marowak. Now, obviously, I went with Protect Grandpa because I want to preserve Grandpa as much as possible. And I was thinking maybe Marowak is going to protect now because I know he has like uh, support move, or at least uh, he max guarded. So I was thinking his status move must have been protect. Um, so I think he was going to go parting shot with uh, Persian and come in with one of his water Pokemon. Uh, so I decided to Thunder Punch, but. Obviously, <laughs> I think if, if you really remember, I, I spent the whole time trying to avoid uh, uh, coming with these strategies to ignore Lightning Rod that I forgot Lightning Rod was in effect. And obviously, even if he did parting shot and switch that Lightning Rod, I wouldn't have performed that Thunder Punch. So uh, that was a mistake on my end. Um, and it's becoming clear to me that. Uh, that Dram is gonna get hit by that that's uh, Marowak slot. Uh, I'm not gonna get hit uh, by Marrow um, by that slot. Uh, so I, I need to sack Holucha or Jolteon. And I was thinking which one to go with. I ultimately sack Jolteon because uh, I don't want to be in a position where. I'll have Drampa and Jolteon again, and then I have to rely on. I have to hope Thunder doesn't miss. Uh, and I do know that uh, Holucha does. Holucha and Incineroar has ways. Uh, both have electric attacks, so if I can get. Once um, Marowak's out of the picture, I could uh, at least have a chance of uh, uh, doing uh, damage to. Um, uh, with my other Pokemon. And. There goes <laughs> Marowak winning so Now obviously I didn't even consider he was going to go Flare Blitz and um, I mean he should, I should have and I should have gone with maybe Drain Punch at that point or even a Flare Blitz of my own. Um, that's that's my mistake. I, I completely forgot the turn order and the fact that he was going to die from recoil so uh, that's a mistake on my end. Now, uh, I decided to go with Holucha. I mean, uh, there's uh, no reason for me to, to risk Grandpa. But as soon as I saw Mantine on the field, I knew I knew what he was going to do, <laughs> and it, that is, he, he's gonna switch uh, um, Politoed in and go for uh, get the Swift Swim activated straight away. So I know I needed to get Grandpa in. Uh, now I wasn't sure, 100% sure which Pokemon I should preserve, but I think I ultimately I think I made the right decision um, uh, by switching out Incineroar and then switching in Drampa. Uh, that way my Holucha would attack first. Uh, now I, I I was attacking with the war worry of I know uh, depending on. On Mantine's build, uh, this Max Lightning may not necessarily uh, faint Mantine. So uh, I'm I'm getting a little bit worried, uh, and decides uh, to Max Mantine, which I mean it's no surprise to me, at, but at the same, yeah, it's really no surprise. I, I don't see Politoed being an offensive. Pokemon and Nibe is uh, so those four that um, does Dynamax. I go for the Max Lightning and it connects to perform near paint. And um, which is unfortunate. Uh, now whether it was it's it was bulky or I just low rolled there. Uh, I, I I can't. I, I don't know. I'm actually I, I really not bothered to <laughs> to make that count. Um, because I I knew the fact that was no, there was no guarantee 
even with the four times super effective that it would take man time. Uh, now, Lucky Thorn was, uh, was a life old man time, and he did faint itself. So, uh, we are in a position where. Oh, we are in a, I think, a fairly good position, but at the same time, I'm in a position where I know. Uh, no, I'm in a position where uh, I could still lose. Because, uh, Politoed is uh, obviously super effective to Incineroar uh, and I'm not actually sure if Parting Shot would work but uh, I do know that Polito is fastest is faster than both my problems at this point um, he's going to do perform super effective moves uh, I, I don't think it has a nice move but I don't want to discount the fact that Politoed could have a nice move. Um, the fact that he hasn't used one yet led me to believe that he might not have one. But at the same time throughout the match, I'm thinking there's no real reason for him to to use an ice move until this point. Um, so... Uh, there's a lot of person who's going for that icy wind. Now, I don't know what. Uh, if it had any other attacks. Uh, I think any other attack would have been better, but. Uh, Grandpa. I mean, Grandpa is weak against it, I guess, but. Uh, uh, I just go for the Drain Punch to a long Persian. I'm, I thought that way I could at least heal up and get rid of uh, a long Persian. But at the same time, I I ensure that now my hyper voice is doing uh, maximum damage. Um, so I did a pretty good chunk, I think, on on Politoed. Assuming, well, given that I have no investment in uh, special attack with Ramper, uh, that Citrus Berry really. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say it. it uh, I thought it was. Any, it was annoying more than a, than anything um, because there's no guarantee. Like now, I definitely cannot uh, Oko uh, Politoed uh, even if I critical hit. I think so, um, and I do now have to risk the fact that I could be facing. I could be staring at a um, yeah at a possible ice beam from from Politoed. So at this point now, I, I go hyper voice because there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I just hope he doesn't have ice beam, which uh, I mean the fact that he's cold means that he doesn't have one. I get burnt, which is fine. My guava berry activates, which is just fine. But at this point, I know um, my hyper voice is going to faint Politoed, and I managed to cinch a win. From this battle, um, so uh, honestly, uh, I'll, I, f I thought this battle, this battle felt pretty. Uh, this battle was actually really close. Um, uh, I think, obviously, um, this is not this. The Quinn, I think, obviously, uh, did did way better than. Um, uh, then I thought he he managed to do uh, much more than uh, what my 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 uh, like sorry so like he did he he adapted well right that's what I should be saying uh, because this is clearly not that, like game battle game two and three that was clearly not uh, the way my opponent wanted to play and. The fact that he managed to adapt well uh, and just really managed to put himself in a position where he can easily, where he he has a chance of winning despite uh, having a, a lot of my team just trying to threaten his reign core, um, is is just a testament to how how well he's uh, he's able to uh, a testament to like how good of a player he is. Uh, he adapted way better than I. I probably would have, um, and yeah, this uh, I think I just got lucky in a sense 
well not lucky I think I had the that shock factor and I just w was just scrappy enough to to claim this win this week so um, again uh, good game to my that was a, like good game uh, kudos to my opponent uh, like I said at the beginning of the video uh, he, he is also a, a, a coach that's uh, um, releasing videos on his run of this of the WWA and that uh, there's a, should be a link to his channel uh, and probably his side of the battle in the description below so you should you should check him out um, otherwise uh, next week my uh, m next week hopefully uh, we can get another win uh, my opponent is let me just double check uh, the Minnesota Nido Kings um, and yeah so the Minnesota U Nido Kings that uh, coached by Dom D uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, Dom PD 021 okay <laughs> um, um, but so I, I'm excited for that that battle uh, hopefully we can get uh, we can continue this win it start a winning streak, uh, but until next week. Uh, oh, actually, before <laughs> I said, if you enjoyed this battle, uh, please. Uh, if you enjoyed this battle, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you, or and it, you can leave a comment. Um, if you if you enjoyed this video, if there's aspects of this video you didn't enjoy, um, I am still learning how to. <laughs> these kind of videos uh, I, I will take any kind of criticism uh, I'll even take negative <laughs> um, destructive criticisms <laughs> at this point um, and uh, if you uh, yeah so uh, also uh, if, if you want to follow my progress through the league uh, my if you want yeah if you want to see through my videos through the league I release videos every week uh, the same time every week otherwise uh, you can subscribe um, to keep track on when these videos get released uh, but until next week uh, have um, yeah so see you next week uh, until then uh, have a good day and bye